you're one of them people that is scared I'm gonna get a heart attack for eating too much, look away now, because today I ate more than I usually do. I had a whole one of these, cheesy garlic bread. I don't know what you call that thing. Is it a baton? I don't know, it was from Marxies, and it was stunning. Hands down, the best garlic bread I've ever had. I had half a tub of pasta, chicken and bacon, and then I went to sleep all day. Woke up at five o'clock in the afternoon, so- If you're gonna eat, like, high denominations of calories, it would be really beneficial for you if you were gonna go to the gym or walk it off or something like that, because these people just have a tendency of just eating this pure slop and then just doing nothing for the rest of the day. I get it, dude. We are all living sedentary lives, and- it's a good thing and a bad thing. It's an indication how successful we are as a society, but it's also really bad because it turns out that as human beings, we kind of need to move. And there's a lot of like value to having the ability to move your body. And even though we don't have reasons to do that anymore, you got to find your own reasons. So if you're sitting here and you're eating four, five, 6,000 calories a day, which by the way, I don't know how you're going to burn that off. That's kind of crazy. We'd have to like do cardio for like eight hours that day. But if you're gonna eat that much, at least try to walk, at least try to get a little bit of cardio in your day, dude. I, 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 there's nothing else to say than that. At least Becky Jones is kind of moving her body a little bit. I don't know what Corey is doing, dude. I know a lot of people that like look at Corey don't even actually think that he's very fat. He is, he just covers it up with a lot of hoodies or sweatpants or whatever the hell. You can't really see it. He's not like, you can't visually see how obese he is, but it's there, it's there. Uh, I just hope that Corey, I don't know, dude, He's he seems like he's aged like five or six years in the last year or two. I, I, it, the, the, the age is really affecting him negatively, dude, and I don't know if he's doing skincare. He's dating a girl, which I, I would presume that is trying to help him with the skincare, because, like, dude, you're kind of getting a little old looking. A type of pasta, chicken and bacon, and then I went to sleep all day. Woke up at five o'clock in the afternoon, so excuse the state of me. We've literally like, just... Like, you've got a great life that you can sleep in the middle of the day. And don't get me wrong, naps are really appropriate, especially if you actually need one. There have been many times in my life, even in the last, I would say, month, where I had to take a nap in the middle of the day because I had a crazy disgusting omega level headache that I almost couldn't even fathom, but I realized the reason why I had that headache was because I didn't have caffeine that day. So yeah, but you know what's really crazy? I didn't think it was the caffeine at first, but when I drank some caffeine, it instantly went away within an hour, which is not good by the way, it's not a good thing. I don't condone people having addictions to caffeine, but at least being addicted to caffeine is like more socially accepted compared to being addicted to food. Uh, so yep, I will accept my addiction to caffeine, and not my addiction to food because it turns out that I struggle to even eat what I need to eat in a day. And I have to like literally force myself to do it. Just woke up. I had two dairy dunkers and I thought, sod it. Let's get a takeaway. On the way to the takeaway shop, I was... Getting a... Uh, what is this? Like an egg sandwich, dude? How... You know how easy it is to make an egg sandwich? Like just get two eggs, boil them up for 10 minutes and take them out and then mash them. And then you're good, dude. I mean, put a little mayonnaise in there. You don't have bread? Does not, like, do you guys not have bread at your house? Why do you have to go to the grocery store to get basic foods that you can make at your house? I don't understand why it's this easy for these people to go out and buy food. It shouldn't be that easy. Like, I get it. Like, the world is basically contoured to us to such a degree that you can order things or you can go to the convenience store right away and get your stuff. But I, you need to find reasons to not do that. It's too easy for you, okay? If things are that easy... If it's that easy to go and grasp for that low hanging fruit, just don't do it. It's not, it's, it's, there should be other ways to find good food. So I stopped in Tesco and had one. It was stunning. Guess what takeaway we had? Uh... No, baby, no. We had a mega box. What? They just throw anything in pizza boxes nowadays, dude? I, I, maybe I'm missing out. Maybe I have no idea. But the Donner meat, right? The Donner, the Donner meat. I see people in the UK eating a lot. I don't know how good it is, but the amount of times I see people in the UK getting this is insane. So it's got to be good, right? From my deductive reasoning, I, I determined that this Donner meat is probably like the apex of food, even though it literally looks like soggy newspaper. So maybe I'm missing out. But also, one thing I've always noticed from people in the UK, from watching Corey, Corey in the house here and Becky Jones, is french fries are really common. Like, everybody wants french fries. And even here in the United States... Where you think that a lot of people might be, oh man, I love french fries because we're like literally the fattest country and french fries are one of the most fattening foods and we love our french fries. I don't even think we eat them to the same degree that you guys do over there in the UK. It's actually kind of crazy to think about this because I've always assumed that America was just like the be all end all when it came to the french fry. 
but in the UK, you guys get it with like every single meal. Like I'm, 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 I'm starting to question when you wake up in the morning and you make your cereal, right? Let's say you're getting some tricks or something like that. On the side, there's gonna just be manifestations of French fries because you guys can't live without it for some reason. I don't know why it's like that. You guys always have to have the French fries though. And you know what? I love French fries. I do. I think French fries are great. But this is actually kind of crazy, right? I mean, you guys eat this shit way too fucking often. Every meal, or at least every day, you'll have french fries with something. That's not good, dude. You guys gotta expand out a little bit. I mean, not like this, but like, you know, dietarily speaking. All of this. And then like this pizza too. Like, what, what's even the purpose, dude? Just go down and, like, go down to your grocery store, get, like, 50 pizza rolls, and then just bring those home. It'd be cheaper. There's only 26 quid, mind. That's this a lot. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Is that a burger, too? It's the best when you want everything from a kebab shop, but you can't decide what one to have. Chicken nuggets. That's and... that's some big back shit, dude. You didn't even know what to get from the, the establishment, so you just ordered one of everything? Big. Big. Neon rings. I had a donut wrap yesterday, but I wanted another one today. Chips, beef burger, Damn. cheesy garlic bread, chicken kebab. I gotta keep it a buck. When somebody says a burger, I'm automatically assuming that it's beef. I don't know why you had to point out that it's a beef burger. Are you eating something else that's not like a burger? Like... It would be, it would make more sense if you specified what it was if it wasn't beef. So if you said I was eating a turkey burger or a chicken burger or I don't know, like a pork burger. But if somebody says I'm eating a burger, I'm automatically always assuming that it's a beef burger. Like off the top of my head, you know? That's like somebody saying like, oh yeah, David, I had some cereal this morning. I know you had milk with that, right? I'm not presuming that you had water or you just ate it dry. When you say I had cereal, I'm presuming that you had milk with it, right? Some things just kind of... They're intrinsic. Like, you don't need to say the extra syllables with it. But then I guess in the UK, you guys are a master at saying things that don't even need to be in sentences. Like, I got a curry. I got a macaiz. I got this. I got all that. I hear that quite a bit. But anyway. another one today. Chips, beef burger, cheesy garlic bread, chicken. Didn't you literally start your day eating the cheesy garlic bread? Like, how much more do you need? Kebab and doner kebab, garlic mayo dips, and a bottle of your... Damn, that's literally all for him. That's crazy, dude. Like, that entire large cheese pizza box full of food was just for him. He literally had everything. Choice. It's like a selection box. <laughs> Variety chocolate cookies, $5.99. How many calories per? How many calories per, dude? Instead of chocolate, you've got kebab. Damn. That, that black one kind of looks like it's been used for a mop or something like that. I, why do you need the cookies, too? You literally just had an entire box full of, like, high-calorie gross food. Why do you need the cookies, too? Oops. Stead in. And then I finished off the night with some cookies. Dude, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this shit right here, bro? Why do you just have random mayonnaise just out? What the hell? By the way, can somebody let me know? When you pop open mayonnaise or ketchup or anything like that, don't you put it back in the fridge? It literally says on the container, after open, put in fridge. Why do people just have their mayonnaise out? Aren't you like literally fermenting the mayonnaise at that point? Am I wrong? Or is he just like coating the food? Is he just like predetermining that he needs to coat the food in the mayonnaise? Garlic mayonnaise at that. Crazy, bro. Here in the United States, we don't really fuck with mayonnaise like that. We might fuck with ranch, but even I wouldn't fuck with ranch. Fuck that. I don't put my lips anywhere close to ranch, but mayonnaise, dude, we don't do that here. Like people real deal... Like, it, ketchup too. Ketchup is probably, like, the number one thing that we use here. But mayonnaise is just not on the menu most of the time. But I see it all the time in the UK. Good desserts. Today I ate loads. And do I feel guilty? Absolutely not. Exactly, dude. Just never feel guilty about anything that you do ever, dude. Even though you know if you... Even, even if you can determine that what you're doing is bad, don't feel bad about it. Because that's going to make you feel bad. And you don't want to feel bad, so just don't feel bad. <laughs> and you shouldn't either. Say it with me. Food is fuel. That is a beautiful statement, man. Oh, that's beautiful. Yes, but it's like the most, oh my God, it is the most bullshit statement. Food is fuel, but you're literally consuming four or th three or four times more calories than what you need in a day. How much fuel do you need? It's not fuel at that point. It's death. It's literally dying. It's not a flex to be eating double or triple the amount of food. If somebody says food is food and food, you need to eat food because it's fuel, and you're out here body slamming mayonnaise drenched kebabs and double chocolate chip cookies, there's just like a disconnect. I'm just not seeing it as that because, yes, food is fuel, but what you're doing is crazy, bro. I always think. People should, first and foremost, be looking at their food as fuel, like understanding what it's going to get, what you're going to get from that food, right? 
But a lot of people just don't. A lot of people just kind of say, well, that shit kind of look a little bit good. I might have to feed my mouth with that a little bit. And then you do that for like three or four years and suddenly your butt cheeks are massive and they've been domesticated because you can't get off the floor anymore. And you're just sitting there huffing and puffing perpetually because anytime you do go outside, you're out of breath because you you live on like the fourth floor and walking back up those full, uh, walking up those four floors are, is like a death sentence for you. So nah, bro, it's not, it, it is fuel, but the way you're looking at it and the way you say it, is uh really offensive i had chicken bacon and cheese wrap for breakfast it was stunning damn. i had to make everyone a cup of tea and work i panicked damn you guys said put the tea damn bro that's a lot of sugar bro bag in before the water it was so much better and i had loads of sugar what the hell dude it put the tea bag in before the water i'm sorry did you not know that how are you from the uk and you don't know to place the tea bag in the cup before the water what that's like somebody putting the cereal after the milk nobody does that okay i don't even drink tea i used to drink it when i was like nine or something like that because people bought it and it was like on sale or whatever and people were like yeah make sure you know at least try the tea it was ass i don't know why some people like it i don't whatever dude to me i always looked at tea as like the gay coffee but you can go ahead and you know enjoy your tea i'm not gay that's all i'm gonna say okay just to wake myself up that's this is uh Corey. i'm looking at something right now and um i don't like it I don't like what I'm looking at right now. I don't like that my eyes are being placed upon four boxes of what seems to be pizza, but it might not be pizza. It might just be a whole bunch of other things. I don't know, but it doesn't look appetizing to me. Uh, my eyes are being, they're being a little bit used in the wrong direction. My new job is so nice. They got us Domino's for lunch. Damn, bro. Domino's, man. I went for margarita. Sometimes I like Texas barbecue. How many margarita slices? just slaps on there. And we had Prosecco. For my first tea. How many slices do you think he ate? Like a lot of times when I see the what I eat in a day videos, the people don't actually show off what they eat. They just more or less just eat the food and then they go, that's right guys. So I had this food and it was lovely. It was banging. It was so good. Oh my God. And they don't show off how many they actually eat. So if you're showing me you eating one slice, is that realistically one slice or is that like three, four, five slices? Like how many slices? Like if I'm being honest with you, if I'm eating pizza, I'm eating two slices, guaranteed. That's a factual statement, okay? I'm a big man, but I'm not that big of a man. I mean, I'm big in certain areas, but if I'm eating pizza, two slices minimum, and I think that's for most people. Like, that, that, that's just what it is. So if you're sitting here and you're showing me one slice, I know you're lying, which leads me to believe that you probably had more than two slices, given the fact that you think that I'm dumb enough to believe that you're the type of man to eat only one slice. So realistically, you probably ate five slices, and I think that's accurate. I really do think I'm accurate on that one. I had a Greg's. Me and Greg's have resolved. See, I had a Greg's. So who says that? I had some Greg's. I went to Greg's and I got some fucking slop ass food that was just randomly there. Damn, dude. They look at this shit. They're really telling people uh, adults need around a thousand, sorry, two thousand calories a day. They're literally bestowing people with this information. But I guess that never stopped anybody, huh? Like everybody knows that smoking is bad, but people are still going to do it. Right. And you know what? More power to people. I had a conversation with somebody recently that asked me, David, do you think we should outlaw? Do you think we should stop people from, you know, should the government step in and tell these big companies and corporations to stop making these high calorie, disgusting, over processed foods? And I said, no, because I think that the person should be left up to make that decision. So if you know, and they, these, these, like, these informations is, are all around you, sure. Uh, you may not know what a thousand calories is or how many calories that you need in a day or whatever. But I mean, with information like this, um, you got to be literally mentally deficient to read this and think that, you know, hey, oh, 2,000 calories a day, and this just so happens to be 5,000. Sorry, this just so happens to be 500. That means I can eat how many? Four. So, yeah, uh, even in, in locations like this, I would appreciate this, like people more more of this in, uh, in particular establishments. Because, like, if you go to McDonald's or something like that, they'll tell you the calories, but it's in a very small, fine print. So, uh, I don't think that we should stop people. I don't think that there shouldn't be the option for people to buy stuff, but I think that people should be left to make their own decisions. And I also think that people should be more well-informed. I think that's probably the more optimal thing. Like, do you really want people to stop doing what they want to do just because you don't think it's good? How do you know that it's not good for them? Like, granted, I don't think smoking cigarettes are good, but if you want to smoke cigarettes, like, go ahead, dude. I don't, who am I to tell you that you're not supposed to do that, right? Anyway. Solved our beef. They finally got corned beef pasties in stock. We're friends again, and I can't tell you how many how calories. Okay, look, I don't know how many calories these are because, like, I can't really see it. But are they, what are these? Oh, four. 
these are I think that's 409 calories per. I think. I think that's 409 calories per. I think that's the calories right there. So if it's 409 calories per, which I was pretty close. I'm not going to lie, dude. I fucking I killed that shit. I mean, these look about 500 calories. Uh, if 400 each, so 800 calories, think about this for a second. That's almost half your day in just two of those. And he's going to body those easily. I mean, these are easily four biters or maybe even six biters if you are a slow eater. So if you're sitting there and you're six biting this and you get that second one in your mouth and you're feeling that sweet, delectable... Whatever this is, Greg, if you're feeling Greg deep in your mouth, dude, and you love that shit, all that meat, all that beautiful, beautiful flaky meat in your mouth, the dandruff, it's 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 probably tasting real good. You're probably going to have to go back for some more later on because it doesn't look like this is going to fill you up. It's not like an actual meal. It's just like a snack food. It's like a, a glorified Hot Pocket. So I don't think that this is really sustainable to eat. Oftentimes when I see people go to like fast food places or whatever, it's something to hold them over. Like I know it's really crazy to say that, but like if you're going to McDonald's, dude, and you're getting a Big Mac or a QP, a quarter pounder, you're not really, you're eating that, sure. But like, is it going to fill you up? Maybe if you had two or three, I'm not going to lie to you. If I had two QPs and a large fry, I might be all right for like four or five hours. But if you were a bigger man than I, or you were somebody that was used to eating that amount of food in a day, I know several people that eat way more than that in a meal. I'm not even joking with you. Like I know guys that are literally spinning the block in the McDonald's because they want to get that or, that that the, the app. They want to refresh it so they get the free meal or the free deal on the side or whatever. Dude. So I wouldn't put it past somebody to eat two, three, four of these in a day and then eat something else. Who knows, bro? There's, they, your day is wide open at that point. And so is your butt cheeks after you fucking process all this shit. Dude. That shit's going to be... Spilling out your butt cheeks, dude. You have to have that plum on retainer. Solved our beef. They finally got corned beef pasties in stock. It, it is kind of crazy to even say that, though. But, like, they finally got corned beef pasties back in stock. What do you, like, why are you rolling up to Greg every single day and be like, Hey, yo, you got that corned beef? You got that corned beef? Nah, you don't got it today? Damn. Damn, you don't got the corned beef. Let me get the chicken. Let me get the chicken. I don't think, it, like, why, why are you keeping up to date with this shit? Because if somebody says they finally got them back in stock... It's a food, first of all. I don't even know what you mean by back in stock. That shit is literally done by the end of the day. So it's not like, what the fuck are you talking about? Would you go like the day before and you fucking body slapped all of them and then like they were out of them and you were depressed and you had to come back the next day and they made more? What are you talking about, dude? Like, how does this even work exactly? I've never heard somebody say they finally got these in stock. Like, I've heard somebody say that before when it comes to like very desirable items, but not food not fucking pot pockets from greg i don't know man it's just whatever Look, we're friends again and i can't tell you how happy i was to yeah see he can six bite this easily six bites you kidding me dude i could probably six bite this yeah easily your corned beef pasty i know they sell them in iceland but they're not the same <laughs> you got them little debbies bro uh, these ain't little debbies but these are obviously like the glorified versions of the little debbies again uh probably <laughs> Probably a couple hundred calories. Buy two corned beef pasties, two of these little Christmas trees. And Just eat them in the bag. Why are so many people open to putting their hands on the chocolate? You do realize it melts, right? What do you? Are you okay with your hands touching on that the 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 sugary syrup substance known as chocolate? I'm not. Uh, I'm gonna have a buffer. I don't know why so many people are okay with this. It was 10 out of 10. I was craving a Mackey's on the See, way. See, this is what I'm fucking talking about. You just went and you got some Greg's meat in your mouth, right? You got that flaky Greg's meat in your mouth. You got Greg's beef meat in your mouth, and now you're out here going to Mackey's. Dude, this is what I'm talking about, dude. Like, this guy can't be stopped. I told you this shit. I didn't watch this video. This is my first time watching it with you guys. It's obvious. Like, it's, it's too much for this dude. Like, he's not going to just stop at Greg's, and that's, that's going to be it. Nah, he's hungry, dude. Those two Greg beef rolls or whatever those things were, that's not, that's not good enough. I'm going to need more than that, dude. I'm not satisfied with that shit. I'm projecting here. That's him. I stopped in the shop for some crisps because I knew the queue was going to be mine. Damn. Whoa, bro. You kind of went overboard as fuck. And you know what? I, feel, I, I see a lot of people not realizing that the dips are really affecting you, dude. Like, each one of these dips is like 100 calories, depending on which one you are. I remember, like, that Becky Jones video, and somebody told me that the, the Becky Jones had this giant dip. And they were like, yo, David, that's like 750 calories just for the dip. And she was drenching her food with it. And that's just dip. Like, think about that. It's not even the, it's not even actual food. It's literally something you put your food into to, to make it more flavored. And she was just draining it on top of the food. You're dying. And there's no other way to say it than that. These crispies, these crispy chickens and the large fries, I know, you know, the large fries, 500 calories, the McChickens, I don't know how much they are, but I'm going to guess around 500 calories per. 
and that's like 1500 calories there might be something underneath this one i don't know if you're looking right here there's probably something underneath this i don't know and then four or what is this three four uh dips dude 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 you gotta it's, it's gotta you gotta calm down a little bit it's too much it's way too much massive so i had a pack of squares and you just had greg in your mouth in the queue and this was my second they fucked you up bro. i'm gonna keep it a buck with you, bro. because i knew the queue was gonna be massive so i had a pack of squares in the queue i'm gonna keep it a real buck with you bro Woo, damn. jose or whoever it was that made that meal for you look i know that there are more than just mexican or puerto rican dudes that cook food at mcdonald's i know but here where i live dude I have not been to a McDonald's in more than 10 years. I didn't have a Puerto Rican guy behind a counter. I don't know what it is, dude. I don't know why it's like that. It's always like that, though. I don't know what the fuck I tell you, okay? It's always hard, too, to be like, you guys got a bathroom. And they're like, hey, hey, what, what you talking about? Quinceanera, Feliz Navidad, whatever. But this shit is inexcusable. If I'm ordering a large, a large fry, and you over here skimping on that shit, bro, first of all, dude, See this apex right here? I need the fries to reach up to that. I need the fries to reach up to that. As you know, as everybody knows, if you're getting McDonald's fries, the fries are almost always going to be flaccid by that 30-minute mark. That 30-minute mark, it's over. You're basically eating, I would go as far as to say, like your 75-year-old grandfather's penis in terms of like the quality and the quantity of what this uh the french fries are it's not good i mean like no i need my fries to be crispy i need them to be hard and erect you know what i'm talking about i need that blood to be circulating like crazy in these french fries and you're only really gonna get that within the first five ten minutes at most so there's that and then the fact that they skimped out like how did they even put these fries in what did they give you a small and just dump it into your large that is i would go back i'm like yo bro you, somebody was munching on my shit before i got this bag like i'm a real deal need somebody to throw some extra fries in here dude i'd be hustling people i'd be going up to other people in the in the line that already got their food and i'd be taking out fries out of their shit because i deserve it and this was my second tea i had large chips they were actually hot for once cheese melt as opposed to what like if you're buying fries from mcdonald's and they're not hot like what do you what is happening exactly what do they throw them in the freezer because they knew you were coming dippers they should keep these cheese melt dippers all year round they are the best 99p chicken mayo and no lettuce i did want a chicken legend but obviously they don't do it no more and Damn. look at that mayo Ugh. stunning and a triple cheeseburger to finish Damn, off the a night triple cheeseburger is crazy bro you didn't think you got enough already dude you got the cheese melts, you got the chicken sandwich, you got the large fry, you got the dipping sauces, and a triple cheese on the side is crazy, bro. You already got Greg in your mouth, and now you got the Mick, you, you got the Grimace in your throat too now, bro? What are you doing? What the hell is going on, bro? Get your shit together. No sauce, no pickles. Just pure meat and cheese. That's what I need in my mouth. You, you guys always, anybody that put lettuce, pickles, onions, any of that stuff on the burger, yet you, you're not a real man. I need just solid meat in my mouth. Pure man meat. I mean uh cow meat, naturally cow meat, yeah. Just cheese and onion. Oh my True. god, it's stunning. Dude, you you just you just can't like do you not know what water is? Like, do you not have that in the UK? Why is it always something that's not water? What why are you eating a smoothie? I've been dying to try this. Percy Pig smoothie. It was vile. Are oh, you still body that shit though? Happy Monday, everyone. Today I've decided enough's enough. I'm not going on a diet, but I. Is that an ice cream shop, bro? Happy Monday. Why? If I'm, bro, you're walking into an establishment with ice cream on a, on the wall, bro. Hey everyone, today I've decided enough's enough. I'm not going on a diet, but I'm gonna start eating healthier. I went to John's. That's a great way to start the day, dude. I'm not gonna go on a diet, but I'm gonna eat healthier, which is literally what a diet is, by the way. I know a lot of people are like stuck in the framework of thinking that a diet is like somehow you're gonna cut out key characteristical foods. No, it's just understanding that you need to make a change and you're just gonna eat less or maybe eat less of whatever that is that you think is problematic like that's also a diet it's okay coffee for breakfast i really wanted burger and chips but the healthy Corey said no so i went for egg and chips instead yeah well i mean you know it would have been way better if you got that burger and no chips i'm gonna keep it a buck i don't think the burger was the real problem there it would have been the fries but i guess anything is progress i'm not gonna be calorie counting i'm just gonna eating fries by the way with a fork is kind of crazy i know a lot of people will sit there and go david you just said that you need a barrier in between your food you're right you're right be a bit more mindful I'm and they didn't uh bro what are you doing man <laughs> what am i looking at right now what is that what do you got in your hand right there bro 
I paused because the the potato that you're eating, I think the cheese is unmelted. It doesn't look like they you they didn't even microwave your shit. But uh, why you got mayonnaise in your hand? What is that for? Make healthy alternative choices. Healthy alternative choices. You got mayonnaise in your hand. He says Heinz. That's like somebody going, I'm going to make heterosexual decisions while having BBCs in their hand. If you're watching, please send my memo part Damn. Of this Tesco Damn. version doesn't Damn. hit the same. Damn. Uh, jacket potato and cheese for lunch and a fish cake. Thanks, mum. It was stunning. I'm going to try and cut down on the chocolate and crisps and choose healthier snacks. Bro, you j well, how, many, how many tablespoons of mayonnaise was that, dude? Damn, bro. That was like four, what, big ass of mayonnaise on top of your shit? This was my pre-tea snack. Chicken satay skewers. And I did end the night Damn. with a doner kebab pizza. Bro. Bro. What's this? What is this? Is that ranch? God damn, bro. Uh, after eating healthy all day. Oh my god. The fries too? I think I deserve a treat. Corey. Follow along for the journey. Whenever we what you mean you deserve a treat? What, what was that mayonnaise earlier? That wasn't a treat for you? Corey. What are you doing? That pizza. After eating healthy all day, I think I deserve a treat. Why is it always French fries, bro? On the pizza is crazy. Follow along for the journey. Whenever we come to Fat Hippo, we... You remember... You remember that video I did a little bit ago of Samira saying that the word skinny was fat phobic when it came to dietary issues like skinny pop and, you know, skinny, skinny, uh, skinny cow or whatever. What's this? What's this, Samira? What's this? Fat Hippo? Fat Hippo? Skinny phobic guys Skinny phobic. This is what this is skinny phobic. I'm dying on this hill. I can't believe this I mean, where's Samira at? I'm gonna need her authentication on this one I mean, obviously he's gonna think this one's fat phobic too, right? We always get asked is the restaurant named after us I know it's hard to believe it's actually not but that would be quite cool if it was So let me show you what us fat hippos got a fat hippo for starters It's always the cheese balls. That's non-negotiable and with a cheese pull this long. I'm sure you can understand why Cheese. That girl on the right, bro. And look at my burger. It's a double cheeseburger with bacon, cheese liquid sauce, and I went for tater tots. Oh, Yo. what happened to this one, dude? What the fuck is going on here? What? What did death himself touch your bun? Why is it solidly pure black? Went for the limited edition burger. It's a Kraken burger. The tater tots were unreal. They were like mini hash browns. And this burger was so juicy. And Thank God he didn't. Bro, the one time I saw this dude literally drip the cheese dip on the burger, dude. I saw that shit. And he had to eat the burger with, with gloves on, which is crazy, bro. Can you imagine taking a perfectly good burger and dripping cheese sauce on Excellent. it? It was insane. Obviously, we all had to have a taste test of each other's burgers. Why? Leah's one had a massive piece of chicken in it. And so did Charlie's. The food is always 10 10 year. This has never been. Yeah, you could suck me off, bro. I'm not fucking taking somebody else's food, bro. You're not tasting my food either, first of all. I don't care how good of friends we are, dude. It's not working. I'm not doing that shit, okay? You know how many of my friends don't wash their hands? Even I. Like, I wash my hands like three times a day. I know guys that don't wash their hands at all, and they beat off. I'm not having you wrap your meat beaded hands all over my food, dude. I know it. I'm not getting the skin flakes on that shit. The meat beat molecules. I'm not doing that done before because we're always usually too full but we've scratched our stomach god damn bro i think this guy gotta stop having so much money dude how does he able how is he able to eat out as much as he is dude enough to order a dessert me and leah went for the oreo cookie dough and charlie went for the cornflake one i love you fat hippo baby if you haven't been down here you must have rocks in your head my body is my temple and health is wealth i've been extremely healthy today oh. i had noodles for breakfast trigger warning salad and i've made a barbecue for lunch you might potato salad which is my favorite salad by the way i'd be wondering if i ate the salad i had one bite and that's officially ruined my day how can people enjoy eating this True. disgusting but the bar Disgust Disgusting. Disgusting. It was lush. We had potty sal and sweet corn and burgers. My mum's finally home from holiday. And it's the first time she's seen me since I turned 28. Dude, for a birthday present, you got Oral B? What's your mom saying about it, bro? What, 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 what's your mom trying to say right now, bro? If you if your mom give you a birthday present, dude, and, you, and the birthday present she give you is a toothbrush, <sighs> what you trying to say? What are you, what are you trying to say right now, mom? What are you trying to say about my teeth? What are you trying to say about my breath? Huh? I would be t I would be talking to my mom about that, bro. I'd be like, listen, uh, you know, I know you love me. I know that we have this deep connection. You birthed me and stuff like that. I love that. That's great, by the way. Thank you. 
But what the fuck is going on with this toothbrush you just got me right now? And by the way, uh, does anybody really buy those vibrating toothbrushes, dude? I heard, I knew a girl one time that was using it as a vibrator. And I'm pretty sure that vibrating toothbrushes are not cool like they used to be. They used to be in style in like 2008. But nowadays, nobody, I, just go to the Chinese dollar store and get like a four pack for $3, dude, the last few months. You know, I've been using the same toothbrush for three years. No, I'm fucking with you. Not three years. It's been six years. She got me an electric toothbrush for my birthday because I hate brushing my teeth. It's so tedious. I'd much That's... rather pop in the chewing gum. I've come to the doctor. Okay, bro. I mean, I hope he's joking, bro. I hope that that's not. I mean, he's probably joking, right? He's probably joking, right? Just because I got a chest infection and now I'm on auntie and uncles. A chest infection? Is that when you have a girl with a yeast infection that sits on your chest? What is a chest infection? Tonight for tea, we're going out for a family meal to celebrate my belated birthday. This is the fit check. Yeah, he kind of, yeah, he kind of a little bit thick. He kind of a little bit thick, bro. I actually bought this outfit for Japan, but everyone said it was too hot for jumpers, so I didn't bother taking it with me. We've come to this Turkish restaurant. If you're from Barry, you'll know it. It's right next to the ship. And Dude, for how much was this? This shit is not enough food for the amount of money that I feel like this cost. The food year was insane. I went for a mixed grill, and me and Leah shared some halloumi. All the meals were fresh, and the meat was so juicy and succulent. Damn. We had some birthday cake for dessert. The whole restaurant sang to me, as they should for the king. Is it just me? Oh, I guess it was his birthday. But, like, I know a lot of people that eat dessert quite a bit dude and i never understood why so many people get birthday cakes or like candy or like desserts in general i i'm out of the restaurant i'm not trying to be there longer than i have to be bro uh i don't know i don't fuck with desserts i don't fuck with appetizers either i'm not i'm not that type of guy um and i'm also not the type of person that gets dissuaded when the waiter comes around and goes uh, what do you want to drink? And I always go water and then they go, oh, you know, it's the same price as soda, right? I know, but uh, I'm not trying to, I don't like soda, so I'm not trying to get, what are you trying to say right now, bitch? Uh, yeah, I know. Do you think I'm fucking poor? Do you think like I, the reason why I got the water was because I couldn't afford the soda? You don't think I can read? I saw that it said it was the same price. I just prefer to drink water, bitch. Like, what the fuck are you trying to say right now? And I get a little bit like, what are you doing right now? Why are you trying to say that? Like, you speaking real fucking loud right now. And there are people here thinking that I'm fucking poor. And I just spent $13 on this non-double cheeseburger, okay? To impress this girl that I'm taking on a date right now, okay? Anyway. And I finished off the night with a chicken roll, a limited edition baby bell. And See, sometimes, like, you guys in the UK, you do too much. Chicken roll. Chicken roll. Roll. Roll, one syllable. Roll, not roll. Why is that? Why is there two? Why is there two syllables in that? Roll. Yorkie, your wife scoffing a day. Today I'm going to show you what the Welsh do at a traditional scout fair. First off, you've got to have a burger for breakfast. Bro, ah, oh, them burgers don't look edible. The Welsh dude. do at a traditional scout gotta... fair. First off, you've got to have a burger. Uh, these burgers are orange, bro. What is going on with these burgers? What happened to them? Why are they orange? I know, I get it, they're frozen patties. They didn't even bother to dye the fucking patties pink or something, dude. Why are they orange? Is this normal? Is this like okay for UK people to eat? Is that is this normal? Is it's like orange. It's like brick. It looks like the color of a brick. Why does it look like that? That doesn't look like something I want to eat. Burger for breakfast. It's the rules. And this dude, what are you doing, dude? Rules? Rules. Rules. Rules, not rules. Burger was insane. I don't know if they do scouts in other countries. But it's basically like army cadets for kids. But once a year, all the families get together, play loads of good games, like smash a plate. This was oddly satisfying. Eat loads of good food. This is what a traditional Welsh cake looks like. I went for chalky chip because I'm not fussed on raisins. And this was my childhood game. You get four balls. You have to try and knock a coconut off a stick in the ground. I won first time. And you would do it too for a check. We met some of our lush followers and we even got some ice cream here. I went for the biscoff flavor. At the end of the day, you have to nominate Damn, they a really didn't put that shit on correctly, bro. They just scooped that shit up and threw it on the top. That shit is basically falling off. Remember to put their arms and heads in 
this stand and throw wet sponges at them. Cameron took one for the team, but back in the medieval day, they used to throw rotten fruit to each other until they died. R.I.P. that pussy, eh? Shawnee Whoa. and Cam have come back from the fair for a barbecue in our garden. We got some. See, these burgers look okay. I mean, I don't know why you would buy the pre made, pre packaged burgers that you could just make at your house and just make them yourself and smush them out yourself. You're just paying extra money for a, a machine to do it yourself. It's not that much effort to take the meat. I get it. You have to wash your hands right after. And this is coming from a dude that doesn't barely wash his hands. People give me shit all the time for not washing my hands when I go pee. I don't wash my hands. I didn't touch it. Why am I going to wash my hands? Oh, because you opened the door. I didn't open the door. I used my foot. Now what are you going to do? Oh, but your, your hands are dirty throughout the day. I washed my hands before that. My house is pretty clean. I wash stuff and I use things to clean off other things. So what are you trying to say right now? You think I'm dirty? Even if I did place my hands upon my meat scepter, it would be sparkling clean. I, 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 I take showers daily. Daily. Okay? And I don't wear the same underwear twice. Sometimes I do. But not all the time. Sausages and burgers. Obviously loads of alcohol. Some potato salads and pesto pasta. And this was unreal. I love having drinks in the garden. It's so much better than a night out. Especially when you can cook your own food. You should have just done this, bro. You should have just done this instead of going to that cookout where the patties were literally orange. But anyway, guys, we're going to end the video here. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate it if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video. All that stuff I'd appreciate tremendously. So if you could do any of that stuff for me, I would appreciate you tremendously. If you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now leave it down below by typing in bracelet because as you see here i have a bracelet it takes me a very long time to put it on it's not mine i found it and it's also not real it's fake obviously it was like three dollars on Shein or sheen i guess i don't know it depends on how you pronounce it i know like the realistic way of saying it is Shein because that's like the original name but everybody calls it sheen and when i say Shein in real life people look at me like i'm weird when i'm not weird i'm, t I'm saying it fucking right i'm saying it fucking right dude it's like it's like, what's that one actor's name, dude? Christoph Waltz. Everything's like Christopher Waltz or whatever. No, it's Christoph. Christoph Waltz. Okay. Uh, anyway, we're going to end the video here, guys. Uh, I love you, by the way. I care for you. I think you're pretty, beautiful, amazing, spectacular, handsome. All those adjectives that we can use to describe you should be used to describe you because you are all of those things simultaneously. And I'm not ashamed to admit it. I think you are a delectable individual, and I think that you should be praised, most definitely praised for being as beautiful as you are. But anyway, guys, we're going to end the video here. If you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.